mental health awareness in the workforce is growing, especially in male-dominated professions like the fire service. In the second report of a three-part series, I take a look at the impact of repeated trauma on firefighters. There's a reason why John Bob Holtz joined the fire service. On the other side of the truck, make sure everything over there is good. There's never two days the same. He's been with the Rogers Fire Department for more than 20 years. You're constantly being challenged by the calls you run on. And he'll tell you he's not the same person he was when he started. You get to do good things. You get to front row seat to some pretty awful things. Yeah, I'm going to have him call a trauma alert. He's talking about calls involving children, death, and suicide. The trauma and the graphic nature of all those calls is something that nobody needs to see. And you can't unsee that stuff. That's the stuff that carries with you and sends you off in a dark place. It's the stuff that you'll remember for the rest of your life. They are tragic memories that weigh heavy on hearts and minds. If you are a lay person or in the public and you think of the worst thing you've ever seen or experienced and how that impacted you as an individual and then think about going to work every day and seeing that three to four to five times every time you go to work. The repeated exposure to trauma impacts firefighters. PTSD, depression and suicide are at an all-time high. But the symptoms are oftentimes nearly impossible to see. We're supposed to be able to handle this stuff. Nothing will break me. I'm the one that fixes things. I'm not the problem. I refuse to be the problem, and I won't admit if there is a problem. Yeah, we're gonna go right That's part of the prominent stigma around mental health. Nobody wants to be that guy that says, hey, I need some help because we don't need help by trade. But it's a conversation that needs to be brought to the forefront. I don't know that anything's changed in the fire service at all. Over the years, I think now there's just a heightened awareness and people are starting to take notice of, hey, yeah, this does impact people. While the stigma surrounding mental health is evolving, there's still a long way to go. It's not a technical problem that we can throw dollars at or we can buy a widget to make it better. If we can't change people's attitudes and, and get them to change their mindset, it's never going to change. There's a reason why John Bob Holtz joined the fire service. But there's also a reason why he'll leave. I don't know how much time I have or how much of that stuff I really want to see anymore.